Just a quick PSA before the video starts. Um, we name all of our bikes. This one's Michonne, uh, the 2015 FZ07. Uh, but this one will be decided by you guys. So whatever shitty, terrible, or amazing name you have for this, leave it in the comments down below. Uh, we'll shout out the winner. And you will get a chance to be a part of this bike's journey. So very clearly, this bike needs a lot of work. It is not the prettiest thing ever, anything like that. Um, but it does have most of the stunt parts, most of the value parts that you want, especially in a 636. Stuff like power commander, cage, handbrake, RSC lever, all that other shit. So overall for 2,800 bucks, um, not really too bad of a deal. Bike does run, drive, uh, titles clean, all that stuff. We're not getting into any funny business, stolen bikes, anything like that. You know, we're going to do all the general maintenance stuff. So spark plugs air filter, oil, um, all that stuff that's really important, especially when you're getting a new bike that you don't really have a whole lot of history on. The bike allegedly had a new motor put in at 17K, it's at like 20 now, but take that with a grain of salt, of course. I'm out of breath. I can't breathe in this 1.0. Hey guys, welcome back to the vlog. We have Thomas here. Riding his fucking trek over fucking motorcycle. Look at this, he's coming so fast. God, his cock is huge. Ugh. I love it and I hate it at the same time. Oh, look, here it comes again. Big, big, big. circling back around. See what he does next. Oh my god, here he comes, here he comes, here he comes. This fucking Shrek over bike. Looks like balls. It's okay though. I still love it. So yeah, we, we do have a cage. Uh, we have a handbrake, we have a Yoshi pipe, um, yeah, we got a power commander in there, RSC clutch lever. So first things first, um, brake fluid is one of the just things I noticed just off the rip. Uh, that stuff does not look too clean. So we'll be uh, bleeding those out, making sure everything's good, pad wise, whatnot, uh, shit like that. Um, and then obviously the biggest outlier on this thing is the frame. Uh, yeah, it's not too pretty. I think what I might do for now is keep the frame as it is. Uh, I might take the, uh, the sticker off, but I'm gonna keep the frame as it is and then we'll probably build the bike around that. So these frames are usually pretty weak in terms of stunting. Uh, the stock frames are, that's why you have uh, steel cages, steel frames. So, uh, I think I'm gonna just thrash on this until it eventually breaks and then we'll go ahead and buy a new steel frame and have that powder coated whatever color. Make the bike look pretty, make it function and feel nice. Uh, and then we'll move from there. Other thing to mention, those fork seals need to go, um, or need to be replaced. However, with these 0304s, the fork snapping is quite a problem that a lot of people run into. So, I would rather have a more reliable uh, front end than these 0304s because I do know that these snap quite a bit especially if you're doing stoppies or even just coming down hard from a wheelie and of course as a squid we do that a lot so we are going to be trying to build this for as affordable as possible um, to show that really everybody can own a stunt bike especially an inline four you know you can get a good looking 
decent 636 for not a lot of work and not a lot of money. Um, so we are going to be going with the 13 plus fairing. Personally, I think they're the best fairings that Kawasaki's made for the 636. Um, they've always been my favorite. I don't love the newer 2020 and 2020, well, I guess 2020 to 2022. They're not my favorite. Um, they don't look bad by any means, but honestly, I'd rather go with either the 13 plus or I guess 13 to 18 or the 0304, just stock one, which I do have over here. So we've got that. And if you're looking at the bike, we don't have a fairing stay. Uh, there is no stay. And even if there was a stay, if we want to mount uh, the 13 plus fairings onto this bike, uh, we need to use a special stay. So I'll make sure to link everything down below. But if we go on to the six shop, um, they do have a, a fairing stay conversion that will fit the 0304 frame, um, but will fit the 13 plus fairings. So of course, you know, this isn't going to look the prettiest. It is a stunt bike. Um, even if you do put new fairings and whatnot on it. Um, but I think it'll definitely look really cool. It's my favorite look. So that's going to total us out to like 500 bucks for uh, fairings and extra shit. That'll bring us up to like 3,300 bucks total into this bike, which I think is a pretty fucking good deal. Again, we'll see what happens. You know, if the bike blows up tomorrow, then, you know, we'll be fucked. If you want to see more about the build, uh, future content, pictures on Instagram, anything like that, photography, anything I'm into, uh, please subscribe, hit the bell notification. You'll get notified when I have new videos, anything like that. So, um, yeah, later.